If you ever ask yourself, can a second lien holder stop a short sale? Well, you've come to the right place, but I guarantee you the answer is not what you're expecting. Hi, I'm Don Thornton. I'm known as the Don, the short sale guy, because I've been uh, basically investing exclusively in uh, short sales since 2003. I had an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating during that period of time, and I've helped well over 1,500 homeowners in that time. So let's get down to this. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how a first and second mortgage uh, lien holders, how they work together, uh, kind of what the second uh, mortgage Sophie's Choice is. And I'll Go, I'll tell you more about what Sophie's Choice is if you haven't watched the movie uh, uh, here in the video. And finally, why I think second mortgages are easy. I love second mortgages. Okay, so let's get down to it. Um, so let's talk about how the first and second lien holders work together. Now, this was very, we, we ran up against this a lot during the Great Recession because uh, a lot of people were using 80-20 loans to be able to, to finance their mortgages 100%. So what does that mean? That means that someone would get a first mortgage at 80% uh, of their loan to value or their appraised value, and then they would get a second mortgage for 20%, which would equal 100%. So they would get the, they would get the property with no money down except for closing costs. And then um, you know they would get in basically with... Uh, a very little investment and which can be good and which can be bad. And so for a lot of people, they took advantage of this because they wanted to get into properties and, and which, you know, unfortunately, a lot of people never seem to think that the market's going to go down. And we're, this, I'm, I'm doing this video in the end of November in 2021. And I've seen very similar tendencies in people's minds about the fact that, oh yeah, this market's gonna stay hot. Oh yeah, it's never gonna correct. Oh, we're gonna keep going and going and going. Even though historically speaking, they all, the market will always go down. It just depends on when. So it's important to understand that, that you know, on the one hand, it's great if you can get into a house as long as you can afford it, but understand that if you get into a situation where you have a very large second, that's almost up to, your, uh, you know, 100% loan to value. If anything goes wrong in your life, you lose your job, someone, you know, family, family member dies, or you get divorced, or you have poor health, you know, you can't sell it unless you do a short sale. That's what we're here for. All right. So, um, but that is how they work together. The first mortgage company always has priority. They have first lien position, which means if the property goes to foreclosure auction, they get paid first. So they understand that. The second mortgage is more uh, risky, they're in a more risky position because they know that, uh, let's say, for example, if the prop, let's say that, that, that the amount financed is $200,000, but the property would only sell at the auction for $180,000. Well, that second mortgage is going to take a big haircut at the auction because the first mortgage will get paid first totally. And then whatever's left over goes to the second. And then if for some reason, the second mortgage is paid off in full, anything else will go to the homeowner, which of course, in this scenario, there'd be nothing going to the homeowner if we went to foreclosure auction. Okay. So how does this, how do they work together? Well, they worked it out during the great recession that uh, the first mortgage will allow the second to receive 10% of their uh, balance or, um, uh, what was it what we're looking for? It's 10% of their balance or uh, $6,000, whichever is less. Okay. So that's, and, and that's coming, if in a short sale, that is coming out of the, the first mortgage's proceeds. So they're saying, look, you need to release your lien to get this thing done. We'll give you $6,000 or 10% of your uh, balance. And the second mortgage agrees because they don't have any, they don't have any choice. I'll get into that at my next point. But if you feel like what I'm offering to you right now, it gives you value and you appreciate the knowledge, uh, appreciate tapping into my mind here. That this has been do, it's been doing this for about 20 years. Uh, I would love it if you would subscribe, go down to the, to the button here uh, where it says subscribe and click on that and uh, become a subscriber. I'd love to have you get access to all my videos whenever I drop them. All right, so let's talk about the Sophie's Choice that the second mortgage faces. Now, what does that mean, Sophie's Choice? Well, I'm old. You can tell I'm, I've got the gray beard and the gray hair, and that means I've been around a long time. And I remember a Meryl Streep movie called Sophie's Choice that was done in the, in the early 80s. And it was basically uh, a movie where Sophie is the heroine, and she has to make a choice between you know, the, the Nazis killing her daughter or killing her lover. Okay, and so I'm not going to spoil the movie. Let's just say that, you know, the daughter lives a long life. <laughs> anyway, so 
a second a second mortgage kind of has that choice because you know they if they play if they if they play hardball on the short sale and they say no we don't, we don't we're not going to give up our lien or whatever we're going to take our chance at the foreclosure auction well there's a very good chance they won't get anything because who knows what that's going to sell for and they'll get shut out and so on the other hand you know they um you know if they decide to work and, and discount, they're going to take a huge, huge discount. And so they're going to get screwed no matter what. But that's why a second mortgage charges more in interest because they're in a more vulnerable position. So let's say, for example, if a first mortgage of the going rate is, say, 3% for a 30-year fixed mortgage, you're going to pay like 7 8% uh, as a sec you know, if, you're, if you have a second mortgage because they're it's a more risky position for the second mortgage. So they know those risks going into it. And that's why they charge a higher rate. But when it comes to working with you or not working with you in a short sale, 99% of the time they will work with you, okay? Because they know that the alternative is worse and they don't want Meryl Streep crying over both people, you know, over, over the daughter and her lover, okay? If you get that, that makes you understand the situation a little bit better. So basically, um, there's no problem with a, a second mortgage usually, especially if you're working with a company like us that knows what we're doing. So um, on that topic, I would love it if you would go down to the comments section and leave me a comment. I love to engage with people. I love to talk to them about what's going on and any questions they have that they might, they might come up with a video. And frankly, uh, I would love to hear suggestions about other videos you would like for me to do on the subject because I have so much knowledge in my head, so much experience. Sometimes things seem like old hat to me that's not, it's not worth doing a video. And, and actually another for somebody else, it's a big thing. They would love to hear, you would like to know more about it. So reach out to me, leave a comment and give me some suggestions about what kind of videos you'd like for me to do, okay? So second mortgages are actually easy. In fact, for me, my dream scenario on a short sale is when the first gets a full payoff and the second mortgage is the one we just have to negotiate with because they, they are, they're much more receptive to a short sale. They work much more quickly and they're much more reasonable. So what I, it's, it's, I have to, you know, I don't want to make fun of people, but I do have to laugh when I do talk to sellers and they, you know, they're very concerned about, well, well I've got a second mortgage. Oh my gosh. You know, and, and they're, they're really worried about it. And meanwhile, I'm thinking, yes, I love second mortgages, you know, so they don't understand how it works. Because of course they don't, because they don't, they're not in the business. They don't know how, how short sales work. So that, of course they don't. But as an insider, as someone who's made so much money on, on short sales and has helped so many people, uh, let me tell you something, short second mortgages are absolutely the best. It's the dream scenario. So if you have a second mortgage, you rejoice because it's going to make your short sale much more uh, easy and it's going to go through much more quickly and with less headaches. Okay. So what I want you to do right now is go down to the description of my video, the YouTube description, and you're going to see a uh, link there. It says Don buys houses .now site. If you're a sec, if you are a more, uh, excuse me, if you are a homeowner and you are upside down on your mortgage and you need to get a short sale done, you need to work with someone like us. You need to work with our company because we're the best. No one else has, has the track record we have. No one's worked with it as long as we have, and uh, we'll get it done for you. Okay. So now if you are an investor, and you'd like to joint venture with us, let's say that as you do your, your real estate investing business and you come upon uh, homeowners who are upside down on their mortgage and you can't do anything with those leads, you need, to join, you need to joint venture with us because we can monetize those leads for you. And that can be a nice second income stream. And if you're a real estate agent and you, um, you know, sometimes get people who come to you with, to ask you to list their property that that's, that's, needs a short sale and you don't like them, don't worry about it. Refer them to us and we'll get you a referral fee and you, you can you can monetize those and not have any of the headaches. Let us do the headaches. We're masochists. We like to have headaches for short sales. So there's a there's a link down in the in the um, description that says short sale partnerships down that site. So click on that and send me a message and we can talk. So thank you very much for your time. And I look forward to talking to you more in our next video. Thanks.